welcome to my bathroom. We're gonna do some makeup today. Very light, this is kind of like, if I'm gonna do makeup, this is the quick, easy thing I do. So, let's talk about it. I have dark circles that I can't live without a color corrector to solve. So, this one's from Fenty Beauty. I feel like there aren't a lot of selection for color corrector on the market. I don't love the pot ones because I think they get too thick under your eye and they bring out fine lines. So I kind of like a liquid or like a thinner formula. And I think this does the job, but there's honestly just not a lot to compare it to. Anyway, it's weird that I've been posting on here for like over a year now and I never would have thought people would actually watch it, which is pretty cool, so thank you. I was thinking of like 2024 and the things I want to accomplish and habits I want to start and things I just want to stop. And I do really like doing this, so I think I want to continue this. It sometimes can be really hard to balance prioritizing your hobbies, which I consider this a hobby of mine, with a nine to five work schedule because there's a lot of thought that goes into stuff like this. I know it just seems like I'm doing my makeup. This video is not a great example, but I don't know. There's a lot of that goes into like setting up, making sure the lighting's good, angles, filming, importing that all on your computer, editing, doing a thumbnail, posting, writing description. You know, it's like a lot of components and it's different phases. So. I really enjoy it and I enjoy the creative process of it and I enjoy thinking of videos to make, but it's definitely time consuming. I think this is the wrong color. I need to get a new color. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it all over my face and hope it, hope for the best. Oh God, it's the wrong color. Anyway. Let me know what you guys want to see more of. I haven't vlogged in a while. I've like tried to do it. I've done it. I did it for like a week in November and I looked back on the footage and it was just kind of boring. Like, and I don't know if it's just me because I feel like a lot of people think their lives are boring and just filming their day to day. But I know for me, like I like watching other people's just mundane lives. So maybe it wasn't boring, but it's hard not to second guess yourself and you feel just kind of vain, at least I feel kind of vain, just like assuming that you guys want to see it. It's not easy like putting yourself out there on the internet. I, you just second guess yourself a lot, but the whole reason I kind of wanted to do this, aside from like I really enjoy video editing and that whole like production side of it was I wanted to prove to myself that the fear of being judged or yeah, I guess just the fear of being judged or like what people will think isn't something I want to live my life having and it's this is what was a, like a challenge for myself to force myself to put myself out there and create output and I'm, and I'm glad I did because this has become a nice hobby for me but it's also something that you know not like some of my friends know about it not a ton of people in my life know about it and I kind of feel like part of that is because I want to keep it precious to myself and something that's just for me and when people um, find out about it in your circle it might become more pressure performance based which I don't want to be I'm not trying to become the next Emma Chamberlain I'm just I don't know I think this is a fun thing to do and like you have all these videos and keepsakes of your life to look back on but then if I'm being real, then it's also like, I don't want to be embarrassed about it. And I know that's stupid because most of the time I don't feel embarrassed about it. But it's just like all the things in your head, your thoughts rolling around your head, thinking what people will think even now that I'm a year into doing this. Um, and it's stupid and it's just noise. And so I keep forging ahead. I want to be more, I guess, proud of it and just talk about it more normally with friends and family. I think that's one of my goals for the new year. I think it also holds me accountable to like, now I've told all these people about it. I have to do it now. <laughs> and that was kind of part of like, when I did start 
the channel or I was like psyching myself up and being like, am I going to do this? This is embarrassing. No, it's not. Like, it took me a few months to actually decide to take the leap and actually do this. And part of my way of like forcing myself to do it was telling people about it and like my close friends and family. This is what I'm interested in doing. Like, I want to try it. And so it holds you accountable when the next time they say like, oh, did you try, did you end up filming or posting anything? Um, I don't know if you're considering starting a YouTube channel or I don't know, posting on any social media platform, creating any some form of content or writing blogs or whatever, creating output for public eyes to see. I think it's a very vulnerable and brave thing to do. So good luck. I salute you. And even if it doesn't become anything groundbreaking, if you're starting it for the right reasons, it's because you're genuinely interested in trying it and enjoy the process, then I think it's still worth your while. Um, okay, I know I've been kind of talking, <laughs> but I basically used NARS Concealer Glossade Blush in the shade Dusk, Fenty Beauty Color Corrector, um, and then Glossier Boy Brow. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm now going in with bronzer from my trusty Patrick Claw palette. Although I'm pretty on the orange side now because I used the wrong concealer. Getting very excited for the holiday season. I have my cousins coming from the States, coming over and staying with us for a bit over Christmas, which will be really nice to see them. And my family's doing like, there's a curling club. My family's not curlers, first of all, but there's a curling club by my house. And we thought it'd be really funny to just like book a rink because there's about 15 of us on my mom's side that's all coming and go curling. <laughs> and so we're all gonna, suck at it, but it'll be fun. And my Nuno used to be a curler and he can't participate anymore, but he's gonna, there's like a viewing section, so he's gonna watch us and probably laugh, so. I don't know, something different. I also just tried this, bought this Tower 28 mini mascara and it's really nice. It doesn't clump that up at all and it's really buildable. Well, I'm into it. Also, can we talk about Taylor Swift winning Person of the Year? She literally was the Person of the Year. Her Eras tour literally swept the nation. It was like a little bit like crazy how much that tour did for local economies. I'm happy for her, well deserved. She seems to be thriving. It's definitely been her year. What I like to do on um, like a especially the mornings for like work, if I look extra haggard, I'll take a um, nude liner. This one's from Sephora called Coconut. It's a matte liner and you just put it in the waterline and it wakes you up a bit. It's an uncomfy feeling, but you need pain. Ugh. I don't know, I think it makes a difference. And then, last but certainly not least, a lip. My favorite lip liner is this MAC one in Spice. I find if you start lining your lip from the corner to your cupid's bow, it gives you a bit more of a like plumped effect versus if you went here and go it down. Okay, that's lined, and then I'm taking my Road Lip Treatment in Espresso, which I think is a nice wash of color. I'm really into the hot chocolate lip right now. Yeah, that's the look. Very simple, very easy. I did a nude blush, 
future do glow kind of hot chocolatey lip and then no liner just a little bit of mascara and bronzer pretty simple pretty easy if you like these videos let me know and similarly if you have video ideas for the new year for me or if you want to see more vlogs and stuff like that let me know um your comments and feedback is always really welcome and you guys are very kind so thank you and we will chat soon bye